We founded Hi res Studios to show our love of gaming to the world, and we think we really hit that mark with Smite. At that time, we just want to make amazing games. Like, none of us really have any game development background, but we really think making fun game is a big, brand new, great idea. So in the early days of Hi-Rez, we had this piece of paper that was on the wall, and it had the definition of what it was to, to be Hi-Rez Studios. And uh, the first definition was to make awesome online games. And I think we've done that. I think we continue to do that. And that, is, that has always been our mission statement, and that's what we do. And now we have over 400 employees that are working on multiple different game titles and different genres. My first meeting was, um, was talking about how much damage a rocket launcher should do. So I was like, OK, I think I'm in the right place. I remember the first time we showed Smite to the public, it was actually 2011, PAX West. We basically had about an hour and a half wait. We saw players wait in that line, have an awesome game of Smite, get up from their chair, and get back in line again. That's when I turned to Stu and Chris and we said, we might have something here. So when I first started working here, getting to see everyone else who played and really cared about the game, it was really neat to feel like part of a community that was as passionate as it was about this thing that I was now getting to help make. Since I've started working here, I, I really see the hard work that they put into it and it's just really great to see the game being made from a different perspective and it's great to be able to just see how all this gets made. Just being able to actually work on the game and work towards making the product better, I was super invested because I invested so much time into this thing, so much energy into this thing, that it was a big goal of mine to actually make sure that it was a good product. So while I was studying game design, Smite was like my favorite game. I was playing Smite all the time. I remember I even sent in my application almost a day late because I played too much Smite. I think we came from pretty humble roots just trying to figure out how to make this work inside of the games industry. We came from a small group of people that were passionate about making games and then poured our soul into Global Agenda and then Tribes and ultimately Smite and Paladins. You know, our goal is make wonderful games that we would love to play. My most proud moment was when we launched and we had players from all over the world that came to the launch tournament and we got to see them and how passionate they were for the game. I mean, everyone that plays games plays games as a, as a result of their free time. And to, to make something that, that we know that people are choosing to spend their free time to play is, is awesome. We're never afraid of to try new ideas. Like, we're never afraid of challenge. We never be afraid of changes. We're just gonna keep working as hard as we can to make sure that Smite experience is as good as it can be on all platforms, which is really great to be a part of a team that cares about Smite so much. We've now held hundreds of Smite eSports tournaments, but I think season five is gonna be the biggest year for eSports yet. There's a lot of things going on in Smite. There's a lot of new content coming out. Um, and we're very focused and driven and we're already looking towards like season six and maybe even season seven. I think the big thing is just uh, keep loving us and we're trying our best to make sure player community is happy and the people love our game. At Hi-Rez, we of course love all of our titles, but Smite really has a special place in all of our hearts. It's the game that allowed us to grow as a studio and continue to innovate. And I can't believe it is now Smite's fourth birthday. I just want to thank all of our supporters over the years. I know that we went through, you know, good times and bad times. I think we learned from those time periods and excited about what the future brings. Thank you for always, you know, supporting Smite and being able to have fun with the game still and just being immersed in this magical world that we make. And I also want to thank the community for making this game so special. Something that I've devoted thousands and thousands of hours into my life at this point towards this project. Knowing that other people are happy playing it and having fun playing it is really the, the big goal there. On Smite's fourth birthday, we want to say thanks to the community for the love and support you show us. 